Hi guys, today we're going to talk about using custom metadata types with validation rules. Custom metadata is customizable, deployable, packageable and upgradable application metadata. First you create a custom metadata type which defines the form of the application metadata. Then you build reusable functionality that determines the behavior based on metadata of that type. Very much the same as an object, a Salesforce object, but it's different in the sense that the data that you create in a custom metadata type is configuration data for your apps. You can create fields just like any other Salesforce object. So let's have a look how to create a custom metadata type. I'm going to go to Home, uh, sub Setup, search custom metadata type. We're going to add a new custom metadata type. Let's call this one for this example limits. We'll make the plural limits. We could add a description, but let's just say that. Okay, there's some standard fields that are created. Um, for the purpose of this example, let's create a new custom field. We'll make it a number. And we're going to call the first field maximum. Add it to the page layout of this new custom metadata type. And we will add another field called minimum, which is also a number. Add that to the page layout as well. At this point, we've defined the structure of our application metadata. We've purposefully kept this very generic so that we can define the limits for any other objects, whether it's accounts or contact, but in this example, we will use accounts. Let's add the actual settings that we want to add for this example. We'll click Manage Limits. Click New. For this one, let's create the Account Employee Limits. That is the unique name of the setting. Now, since we've created fields for maximum and minimum, we're going to key in what the account employee limits are. We'll make the maximum for this example 40,000 and the minimum 100. We'll click Save and you'll see that's the page layout for the specific setting. We can actually see all the records for this custom metadata type and there's the first one we have. We could create a new one, for example, property valuation and we can have a maximum and a minimum. In this way, you can have multiple settings under the same custom metadata type covering different fields. For the purpose of this example, let's focus on account employee limits. Let's go to account, create a validation rule referencing the custom metadata that we just created. Let's call this validation rule the employee limit validation. Let's pop in the formula for this validation. We'll add a or function, meaning that if either or of these conditions are true, the validation message will pop up. We are going to reference the number of employees field. Now we have to specify whether the number of employees are less than the minimum value that we specified. So we'll say less than. In order to reference the custom metadata, you'll have to start with dollar custom metadata. You then have to put the name of a custom metadata type object. In this case, it's called limit underscore underscore MDT. Then you have to reference the actual label of the custom metadata you created, which in our example was account employee limits. Then you have to specify the API name of the field which we populated with data. And that was called minimum underscore underscore C. 
the next condition that we will add to the logical expression is basically the same as the previous one except we are checking if the number of employees are greater than the maximum value which we specified in our custom metadata check for syntax no errors we'll show the error on the field itself And we'll just say that we are outside the appropriate employee limits. Click save on that. Now it's time to see how this validation works. I've picked a random account on my hands on org. I'm going to now change this account to have it employee number higher than the 40,000 maximum which we specified. You see the error message from the validation rule. Similarly if we go under the 100 minimum that we specified for our validation rule we get the same error message. Anything between the 40,000 and the 100 that we specified for the maximum and minimum still works. And that's all it takes to use custom metadata types with validation rules. These settings are easily maintainable as you maintain them from the custom metadata. You don't have to change the validation rule and you can also reference this custom metadata in other places like Apex code without changing code. If you really liked the video please hit like and subscribe for any future updates.